Warning. Read and follow all labels on the owner's manual. Warning. Do not touch hot consumables without personal protective equipment. The following instructions are the same for slip-on or thread-on nozzles. Turn off welding power source. Disconnect the trigger control lead and power pin from the machine and cut the wire. Remove the Bernard AccuLock S nozzle. Loosen the AccuLock S conventional liner gas diffuser with an appropriate wrench and remove. If applicable, remove the power pin guide cap and pull the entire conventional liner out of the MIG gun. Please note, if your MIG gun has a Miller power pin, you will only need to replace the power pin cap. The following steps showing power pin replacement only apply to MIG guns without a Miller power pin. Loosen the conventional liner power pin with an appropriate wrench and remove. Install the AccuLock S dual locked liner power pin by hand and tighten with an appropriate wrench to the specified torque. With the MIG gun laying straight out, install the AccuLock S dual locked liner through the neck. Push the liner through until the brass liner lock bottoms on the neck. Ensure that you are using the proper neck insulator. To lock the center of the liner, Install and tighten the AccuLock S dual locked liner gas diffuser with an appropriate wrench. Install the AccuLock contact tip and tighten with welding pliers. Install the AccuLock S nozzle and ensure the neck insulator is installed properly. Place the AccuLock S dual locked liner power pin cap with the set screw over the liner and thread onto the power pin. Tighten the power pin cap snug against the power pin shoulder with welding pliers or an appropriate wrench. Holding the provided hex wrench as shown, tighten the set screw finger tight against the liner. Next, hold the hex wrench by the handle and tighten the set screw an additional one half turn to fully secure the liner. Caution, over tightening the set screw can crush the liner. Trim the liner flush to the power pin cap with a sharp set of side cutters. Insert a piece of appropriately sized welding wire into the liner to check for burrs or obstructions. For example, if running a 0.035 inch wire, perform this check using a 0.035 inch wire. The wire should fit onto the liner and move back and forth without resistance. If a burr is detected at the entrance to the liner, remove the cap and retrim the liner. If resistance is felt sliding the wire back and forth, loosen the set screw until wire slides freely. Plug the power pin back into the machine, reconnect the control lead, power on the machine, and feed the wire through the MIG gun.